All right, I didn't change my backdrop for this, but we will do the best we can. This is a pack of cards which I got uh, for Christmas. Uh, it's a Donruss Rack Pack 1989. Hopefully you'll be able to see all of this here. Um, this one is a value pack, eight, nine puzzle pieces, and 45 trading cards. I've never really been able to build the puzzle there because I usually get a whole bunch of them and then don't get any for eight years, and then I get a whole bunch, and then I get the same ones. Luis Aquino, Randy Myers, Jay Howell, and then you cannot see anything on the back. It's all blacked off by... Um, cards here but we can almost see one here uh, puzzle cards we can almost see one here we have Robin Yount here so that's neat I found a Robin Yount here let's see if we can maybe sneak another card look into here and again these have about you have anywhere between five and and um, I don't know uh, we have Glenn Wilson here and five and fifteen dollars of what people are trying to get uh, sometimes they do them in lots um, there's no end to these. There is just absolutely no end. You swear that Donruss is still making these in some sort of back room. Um, or people are just re re I don't know. I can't get to that one. So we'll rip this open here. Or we can scissor this open here. Again, I don't need to save the wrapper here, but we'll just cut this in half like so. And then maybe work our way down from this. Um, there was somebody with uh, no bids that had a Gary Sheffield rookie on top. So there are people that do collect those there, but again, I don't. Um, how much is a Gary Sheffield really worth? So if anybody wanted to save that, they could theoretically throw that in their 89 Donruss. I have an 89 Donruss box, so I might save that piece there. Jay Howell, Tim Larry, so two Dodgers right on the top there. Um, these are not going to work for the uh, 1990s um, challenge. Uh, Dickie Thon, Ray Quinones, Bill Long. Mitch Williams, Pete Harnish. That's probably my best card so far, the Harnish card here. Luis Alisea. Let me get these a little better. Get this stack a little. Okay, we got it. Okay, we're back to it. Um, I, I finished off with Luis Alisea. Uh, we have Gene Larkin. I think I have his autograph. I'm not sure. Jose can strike out, so that's a good one there. Again, I have to double check my set and see if these are upgrades. Uh, Will Clark. Um, the set I got from his uh, person is, has been deceased for a uh, year or two, so um, used to do some trading back in the day with some people that used to run a store here. Andy Nazelic, Jose De Jesus, and the Glenn Wilson that I think we saw earlier from the back of the card there. And again, I don't recognize that card. You know, I don't remember Glenn Wilson being a big, huge. Um, uh, no, he's Phillies. Yeah, Mar it looks like Marlins and pirates okay interesting so we got two more here this one almost popped open here actually we got it we got it we got it randy myers luis rivera if any of these there's a kirby pocket uh jerry brown terry pool paul o'neill checklist so i could probably send that with somebody uh mark grace brett saberhagen I don't know who I would have been happy to get. I would have been probably searching for Griffey, maybe Will Clark, Dodger cards, Brenly, Les Lancaster. I think I have that signed. I'm not sure. Uh, Joe Bover, and the Robin Yelp that we saw here. Again, some of these are perfectly centered, and like this one here is not. Um, I forgot that it was a pretty good design. If you just take a look and look at it, it's, you know, uh, this um, kind of... Um, uh, purple to the the faded to the red or whatever that was used by tons of companies like the star company and then but it's got the kind of like this black this gray with the, the black stripes on it which doesn't show up on camera uh, so they're okay um, let's see this one is not really great if you think about the a lot of these like the stickers had this kind of faded color as well too so I'll try to get this cut open here carefully here so far no home runs but you're never gonna um, because you just don't know how many people search these things. I, you, you know, if you know what to do, you can kind of look through them, kind of like I did towards the back of it. So we have Luis Aquino. Again, some of these are just going to be uh, cannon fodder here. Uh, Fred McGriff, that's my second MVP here. Uh, is this my first um, uh, Diamond King, I think? I don't remember having any other Diamond Kings. I, if I'm not wrong, there's Rick Rushell. I don't remember if he signs or if he's fairly quick. Terry Clark, or fairly slow. 
Scott Bradley. I don't have a lot of Mariners. Some of them just don't seem to get a lot of Mariners to sign my cards here. Dave Parker. Probably because Harold Reynolds was probably one of them. It's Willie Fraser. I don't remember if I have that one. Mackie Sasser. Glenn Davis. So we had Glenn Davis and Rick Russell. So again, two of the smallest names in the whole uh, Diamond King set for that year. Curtis Wilkerson. Cal Daniels. I think that's MVP number three. Jeff Treadway. Ernie Witt, Bo Diaz, and Lance McCullers. It probably would be worth more if I left it sealed, but there's one of the famous puzzle pieces there. So, I again, I, I just open it because I hate having sealed packs laying around here. Um, again, when they're so ridiculously common all over eBay, I, it's kind of like uh, the old election stuff here. Why don't we just open up all the packs and be done with it? You know, so we don't have to think about these these uh, horrid packs that have date back to before you know a lot of YouTube was even born. Um, but again, um, it was fun to open just for a minute or two. Was it five dollars worth of fun? Maybe. Was it fifteen dollars worth of fun? Nope. Um, what am I gonna do with it? Am I gonna keep them? Nope. Um, am I gonna do any TTM? Yep. I don't know. <laughs> ah, dumb. So that's what I have for today. Thank you for watching. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep.